Hi everybody, in this video, I'm gonna talk about the most amazing eye I know of. It's the eye of a crocodile fish. And I'm gonna give you some tips on how to photograph it as well. Let's check it out. The crocodile fish is a member of the order, which also includes scorpion fishes and stone fishes. It has an elongated body and head, and its body was, is covered with a, a pattern of spots, lines, and markings to help with camouflage. Crocodile fish are predatory and draw on the bottom of the seafloor where their camouflage is most effective. They eat crabs and crustaceans and some small fish. They're found in the Pacific tropical waters, and I'm going to show some images I got from a recent trip to Lembe, Indonesia. Now, several other fishes have um, striking aspects of their eyes, which I find very interesting. For example, the regular scorpion fish has ornamentation around the eye, various spikes and appendages to help with camouflage, which you see here. In a previous video, I, I showed the beautiful corneal iridescence, the shimmering cornea in a balloon fish eye, which we see here. That's a type of structural coloration um, in the cornea, the front layer of the eye, which helps to limit light from above on a bright sunny day on the reef, okay? And I also recently discussed the yellow stingray eye, and I showed um, it has a pupillary flap which drops down over the pupil to act as a sunshade on a bright day. It limits optical aberrations and provides additional camouflage for the fish by making it so its pupil does not look black and round. Well, the crocodile fish has all three of these interesting ocular adaptations. And this image shows it. The blue arrows point to some of the stalks and appendages around the eye, like we saw on the scorpion fish. This is a type of eye ornamentation to help with camouflage. The green arrow points to the bluish color, which is corneal iridescence, which limits the light from above on a bright day like the balloon fish. And finally, it has the most spectacular and ornate pupillary flap that I've ever seen. The red arrow points to this modified pupillary flap like the stingray eye, except for it has many little holes or what we call fenestrations in it. These are also called iris lappets, and they mimic the adjacent iris and surrounding skin colors, and it definitely provides some camouflage for the fish as it lies on the seafloor waiting to ambush potential prey, but it can also limit some light and provide more clear vision by limiting some optical aberrations. Really interesting. Now for these images I used a Nikon D7100 60mm macro lens, and for the super macro shots I flipped down a plus 10 wet diopter, which you see here. I generally just used a single Ike light strobe. I kept my ISO at the lowest setting at 100, my shutter speed at 1 to 200 of a second to sync with the strobe, and I set my aperture sort of small around f16 for the macro images, but made it smaller yet around f22 for the super macro images to have a little better depth of field. Now, after I find the fish, I initially ignored it, taking some pictures of adjacent rocks, checking my LCD and adjusting my camera setting and strobe position. Then I moved around a little and it gradually accepted my presence. Then I approached it very slowly and I backed off when checking my LCD or making more adjustments so I didn't scare it. Now this view from further out shows how the iris lappets, the red arrow, provide camouflage by mimicking the adjacent iris, the green arrow, and the surrounding skin, the blue arrows. Okay, very interesting. This close-up side view shows the cornea, the green arrow. That's what has the iridescence, which you can't really see here. The round black lens you see, and it also shows that the iris lappets are continuous with the upper part of the iris. Beautiful shot. I love that. Now, this is my one of my favorite shots of the whole trip when, on my trip to Lembe, Indonesia. I was lucky to get really, really close to the fish, flip down my plus 10 diopter, and um, you can see the beautiful, ornate iris lappets, okay, and the blue corneal iridescence below. I just love that image. So, if you're lucky enough to spot a crocodile fish on one of your Pacific trips, be sure to take some time to check out its spectacular and fascinating eye. Well, I hope you found this helpful. Thank you very much for your attention, and I always welcome any feedback.